The battle between two kings. A martyred queen. The ruins of an ancient church. This story is about the journey of an ancient relic of a queen from Georgia. Uncovered from Goa, India. Queen Ketavan was born to Prince Ashot and into a noble family. She was married to David I, son of King Alexander II, who ruled the Kahati Kingdom in eastern Georgia. Alexander's policy to keep peace with the neighboring kingdoms, brought prosperity and economic stability in his kingdom. At that time, three mighty empires were fighting for their dominance in Europe. The Ottomans, Safavid Empire of Iran, and the Tsars of Russia. Although Alexander was initially was a vassal or subordinate state of Safavids, he later tried to ally with their rivals, Ottomans to gain more autonomy. But when his kingdom was attacked by neighboring state of Avtarki, he decided to receive protection from the Tsars of Russia. While Alexander was busy managing to stay relevant in the fight between the empires, he ignored the power struggles within his palace. In 1601, Prince David I, gained control of Kahati, sidelining his brother George and forced Alexander to retire in a monastery. A year later, David died, leaving behind his widow, Ketavan. Alexander resumed his throne. His younger son Constantine I was taken in his childhood to Persia, where he was converted to Islam. In those days, subordinate rulers, offered their relatives as political hostages, in a way to pledge their loyalty to the emperor. Meanwhile Shah Abbas of Persia was not happy about Alexander's deeds, to ally with his rivals. In 1604, Abbas appointed Constantine as his commander and ordered him to secure the support of his father to fight against the Ottomans. But Alexander was reluctant. Constantine got furious and marched to Kahati. He killed his father and brothers and declared himself as king. This caused massive outrage in the kingdom. A rebellion against Constantine was led by Ketavan, widow of David, with the support of many nobles. Constantine was killed and Ketavan's underage son Timur as one, was declared king. After the uprisings, Ketavan tried to negotiate with Abbas of Iran. She surrendered herself as a honorary hostage, in an attempt to prevent an attack from the Iranians. But Abbas, in an act of revenge, ordered the queen to denounce Christianity. And upon refusal, she was tortured to death with red-hot pincers. A group of visiting Portuguese Catholic missionaries of St. Augustine's religious sect, had witnessed the queen's public execution in Shiraz, capital of Safavid Iran. They retrieved her remains, and it was buried at Oliverdi Monastery in Georgia. Her tragic death and refusal to denounce Christianity, made her a martyr. She was declared a saint by the Georgian Orthodox Church. However fearing further attacks from the Persians, the keepers of her relics decided to move it to a safer location. But on the way, it was lost. During the last decades, a hunt for this lost relic was rampant. After years of research and study of medieval Portuguese records, the location for the lost relic was narrowed down to the ruined church of St. Augustine in Old Goa, a former Portuguese colony. It was believed that, parts of her remains were brought to Goa by the Augustinian monks. 
In 2005, the research team found few bone fragments from the ruins. India carried out DNA analysis, by sequencing and genotyping of mitochondrial DNA. The results showed the presence of U1B haplogroup. This lineage is absent in India, but present in Georgia and Europe. In 2013, it was made public that these bone fragments belonged to a, a woman of Georgian descent. The relics were kept in a casket in Archaeological Museum in Goa. In July 2021, a part of these relics were handed over to the Georgia by the Indian government. The remaining part of a relic is still preserved in Goa, as a remainder of shared past of the two countries.